If you own a woodlot, I'm sure you have it for a reason. Perhaps you hunt and hike the land. Maybe you grow timber for income. Or maybe you just wander around to watch the birds and other wildlife or share that special place. So keep it special. Protect your woods from invasive plants that will crowd them out. In a really nice woods, you may have a different suite of plants that erupt and flower in the spring, and there may be different plants in the midsummer, and in fall there's a whole different suite of plants. So in that one piece of property, you can see a whole different suite of species throughout that growing season. As plants come in and they invade a site, invasive species, they basically reduce that potential to fewer and fewer species. And so there's that fundamental aesthetic appeal of your woods that are gonna, that's going to diminish as invasive species come in. Many plants down to fewer and fewer, fewer plants. And in worst case scenario, you could have a carpet of garlic mustard occupying your whole block of woods. The first step is to prevent seed transmission from site to site. You can do that by making sure you're not carrying seeds on your clothes or your boots when you enter and when you leave a site. The important thing is just to make sure you get all the soil off your boot because you may not be able to identify all the weed seeds. Especially if you have treads, make sure you get inside the treads. Scrape the edge, a couple slams on the bottom, make sure you're clean, and you're good to go. So the key here is prevention. You really want to stop the plants from getting into your woods because once they get started, it can be harder and harder to get rid of them. I'd like to show you how to do that. In the other links on this webpage, I'll take on three of the state's most prolific ones. Buckthorn, honeysuckle, and garlic mustard.